Hi. Uh, hello, folks. I um, wanted to take, take a quick moment to address something. I got a text this morning from one of my followers on Looney's Audacious Art Auctions. And the comment was, I really love your stuff. I'll probably never be able to afford it. Uh, and he sounded apologetic. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, right now, I've got 270 some odd followers on that auction page that I just put up a week or so ago, which I think is really remarkable. Understand that only about 95% of those people um, are going to be in the same boat as he is. They're my friends, or they're other artists, or they're just curious seekers. Uh, only about 5% of them are actually interested in buying original art, uh, are in a position to afford to buy original art, have the wherewithal to do it. Most of my followers <laughs> are my age, and I'm nearly 70 years old, so they've bought just about everything they want to buy. They're busy traveling and cruising and, and you know, RVing and all that other kind of stuff. They're not buying artwork. Uh, but when you like, when you comment, when you share, especially the comment and the share part, like, eh, nothing much happens on Facebook when you do that. These are the algorithms that get that word out. Understand about 25 people at any given time when you put out a post is going to be seen by, by about 25 of your friends. I got nearly a thousand friends in my personal page. Uh, now, Facebook will put it out if you want to pay for it or... The other way is if you share. That doesn't cost me anything, and it helps me a tremendous amount. For instance, I've got a post on there, and it is um, has had two shares and has about 157 uh, views. Okay, I got another one where there's 11 shares and it's got nearly 2,000 views. All right, so in that 2,000 views, hopefully there's somebody in that little 5% range that can, will, and does collect original artwork. That's who I'm trying to reach. The rest of you, I'm delighted that you're here. Come along for the ride. I'm going to be doing more of these auctions all throughout the year. I've got four of them uh, uh, lined up for next year. I'm inviting artists. Uh, a number of these are from all over the world. I'll give it a, a quick plug, a quick commercial right now. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, these are folks that I have gotten to know through chat rooms on social media. And um, I'm inviting them to come along. And very diverse. Uh, and they're not all, all look like uh, my stuff. And uh, <laughs> and chew gum and walk at the same time. I'm putting up these small pieces. Also understand, I don't always work in big scale. What I'm featuring is my very first auction. The art center over in Cookville uh, had kind of a little slight emergency. Their October artist, for whatever reason, was um, was not able to uh, fulfill uh, the October slot. And so they knew that I had big artwork, and they asked if I would please um, do that. So with a U-Haul full of paintings in a couple of days, I had that gallery filled, right? Okay. Uh, so those are the ones I'm, I'm featuring to sell. Um, number one, to make room. Uh, you know, it's wonderful to paint all this, but it just keeps accumulating. <laughs> and it just, you know, and besides, it's uh, how an artist, this is how one pays the electric bill and goes and buys groceries and puts gas in the car. <laughs> you know, this is how I make my living. Um, I'll tell a quick story. No, later. I'll do it later. I am a storyteller. I'm, um, and I've got lots of experiences through the years. I'm going to share those uh, as we go along. And I'm encouraging these artists that I invite to do the same thing, to give me a slideshow and or give me uh, a little video that talks about themselves and their work. Um, a cute side story I will tell. Steve down in Australia is going to be one of the artists who's exhibiting in January along with us doing the auction. I met him, I think, in 2013 in a chat room on LinkedIn. Go figure. And we've been uh, uh, Facebook buds, pen pals, ever since, uh, encouraging each other's artwork and just, you know, uh, artists. Uh, well, I was trying to get him to send me some preliminary information so I could hype his work and, and tell folks a little bit about him. This man is a curator of exhibits, and he does sometimes several in a month. And he's been doing it for decades. So 
you know, I can't even fathom how many artists' lives he has touched by the work that he has done in his community in Sydney, Australia. But to get him to talk about his artwork or to give me pictures of his artwork, I just feel like pulling teeth. <laughs> and I'm just laughing because that's so typical. Um, all right, so anyway, an, another uh, another cute side story, and I'll talk more, Marit, is um, in Sweden. And uh, we met in a, a, a specialty board in uh, Facebook, I think. Uh, she might remember. I don't know. The same thing. We've been just sharing and, and supporting of each other. <laughs> Come to find out, when she sent me her information, she trained uh, to be a professional therapist and never got around to it because she also started painting and she loved painting so much that she's doing that instead. Uh, go figure. All right. So I, lots of neat stories and you will be seeing those and many more in the future. This first show is a solo show of my work, mostly big but not all big. I ha I do do small stuff. I will post as many as I've got time to do. Um, but you know, just like now I've got the alarm set cause at two o'clock I got to run, go get my grandkid uh, at pre-kindergarten. All right. Okay. This is an example of a teaching cause I also have a YouTube channel. Let's hype that one as well. That's Lynn Looney. And uh, I put up uh, tutorials. This is one that's halfway through. I've got the video on it. I haven't I need to finish it. I was doing, um, uh, uh, and almost everything I do is in acrylics. So uh, all of these tutorials will be in acrylics. Uh, I do have some in watercolors because I also teach a watercolor class. And um, anyway, a lot of information, a lot of people I've been painting since I was five years old. Uh, and I've worked as a professional artist in the theater, billboard, uh, uh, murals, special events industry in Atlanta for decades, uh, you know, always painting and doing. It wasn't until 2005 that I went into the studio and started painting paintings. Um, that was in 2005, 2008. Shall I give you a little lecture on the economics, world economics, 2008, you know? Sure. So those people who would have ordinarily bought artwork uh, <laughs> hung on to that uh, uh, disposable income until they knew what was going to happen. Okay, so anyway, um, long story short, different setbacks, uh, life happens, and um, I'm able to get back into the studio full time. I need to do something with this inventory. If you are not a buyer, please be a sharer. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, if nothing else, folks, I think it's going to be entertaining. I got over my shyness long time ago thank you so much share comment facebook algorithms love it <laughs>